everyone. Good evening, or maybe I have to say good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are joining from. Welcome to our opening of RAM 2021. I'm Jennifer and I am super happy to be part of the fourth edition of the Virtual Reality Arts Festival Hamburg. And you can see we're in this fabulous virtual venue, but at the same time, we are also live in Hamburg in the Oberhafenquartier and looking forward to all guests, artists and partners joining us. Please be, don't be surprised if you can't chat with your neighbor at the moment. We've muted you for the opening ceremony, but afterwards you'll be able to exchange ideas, experiences, phone numbers, whatever you want. <laughs> And please note that we are streaming live on YouTube, so you'd better be on your best behavior. But I'm sure everyone is anyway. Maybe some of you are joining us for the first time and you're asking yourself, what is VRAM and what makes it one of a kind? I'd say, let's take a look. Also das erste Jahr war natürlich sehr, sehr besonders, weil das wirklich noch ein absolutes Novum war. Es gab es einfach noch nirgendwo bisher ein Kunstfestival, das eben mit Virtual Reality arbeitet. Ich denke, dass jedes Mal eine neue Technologie, die kommt, die erste Gruppe von Menschen, die es benutzen oder die es verstehen können, ich muss Artist sein. Es war eine Art, die wir vorher nicht benutzen konnten. Ich finde es dieses Jahr noch weitaus innovativer und neuer, aber erfrischender. Also mit der Art und Weise, wie man damit umgeht, mit anderen Künsten in das Virtuelle hineingehen. Also wo man selbst sozusagen zum Künstler wird. Das hat mich schon sehr fasziniert. virtuellen Location unseres Festivals. Das Brain Festival ist ja das erste künstlerische Virtual Reality Festival weltweit. It was these rare moments that you felt that uh, you've been part of history being written and hope to see you again uh, next year in Hamburg. Pretty amazing, right? And you want to know the heart and soul and brain behind Ram? Without his artistic vision, his hard work, Ram wouldn't exist. And above all of that, he always makes it really, really super fun to work with. Please give a huge virtual applause to the artistic director, Ulrich Schraut. Hey everyone, thanks Jenny for the nice words. Uh, I'm super happy, super excited to be opening VRAM Festival with all of you tonight. I think it's actually time to address you all a little more formally. So let me take off my headset and show you what we look like in real life. Okay, here we go, let's start again. Dear artists, dear visitors, dear partners, dear team, first of all, I can't believe I'm actually standing here. After more than one year of pandemic, I think we are all more than happy to say, welcome back to physical reality. For those of you who are not here with us in Hamburg right now, we do have our virtual festival edition, the one that you're participating in right now, but we also have our physical exhibition just next door, and we're super excited about that. Even a few weeks ago, Everyone thought we were crazy when we still dreamt of a physical exhibition and welcoming real-life visitors here in Hamburg. And probably they were right. But my team and I, we never stopped dreaming, and here we are. We are one of the first festivals this year, not only in Hamburg, but also in Germany, to open their doors for their visitors. 
It was challenging for us, to be quite frankly, but it makes us even happier and proud to say, welcome to Ram Festival 2021. One year ago, I was standing at the exact same spot and opened Ram Virtual, our first complete digital edition of the festival. We were surprised and excited about the positive feedback and that so many people from all over the world participated in our festival. But we also felt there was still something missing, the social connection, the physical component. So we took away these learnings from last year and we envisioned a new VRAM, a fully hybrid version, to meaningfully combine the physical with the virtual experience. And with this format, we cannot wait to continue what we set out to do four years ago with our first edition of the festival, to showcase the most inspiring and exciting artists from VR, AR, mixed realities, to give them a platform and to invite visitors from Hamburg and all over the world to dive into this new art form. Because this is what I strongly believe. XR is not just a trend or a technology. It is a medium. It, is a, it has the capacity to inspire storytellers, artists, creators from all genres, backgrounds, generations to find a new expression for their artistic practice. To re-envision how they want to share their stories, to give us incredible insights into their ideas and dreams. This pandemic has fundamentally shifted how we think about digital technology, about virtual co-presence and real-life encounters. And who, if not our artists, should shape our reality and future by constantly reimagining and questioning how we live, feel and think. Now, thanks to all our amazing partners, my incredible team around here, and our fantastic artists, we are now finally able to say, welcome to VRAM 2021, virtually and in real life. Thanks very much. Finally able to say, welcome to VRAM 2021, virtually and in real life. Thanks very much. Thank you so much, Ulrich. We'll give you a moment to get your headset back on. But thank you so much for your welcoming words. And I would say you can't really have an opening ceremony without an opening act, right? That's not possible. But of course, we've got a fantastic opening act for you. We are very happy that we have an excerpt of Dazzle by Gibson, Martelli and Pupotti. Enjoy.
Absolutely fantastic. And I'd say the perfect introduction to the core of VRAM, which is the art experiences. Ulrich, can you tell us a bit more about the artists of this year's festival? Yes, for sure. I mean, we have divided the whole festival program, the artistic program, into three sections. Uh, the first is the VR exhibition. It's our interactive VR artworks. Then we have the VR cinema, where we showcase 360 films. And we also have um, installation, immersive installations. It's video art, it's projection mapping, it's uh, augmented reality installations. And our festival uh, dramaturg, Sabrina and me, we have scoured the world for the most exciting and inspiring artists. And I think we have a very interesting mix of uh, storytelling, um, visual art and also very innovative forms uh, of, um, of new forms of uh, virtual reality and um, the new medium. And what would you say is the main difference this year in comparison to last year, for example? Well, due to the hybrid version of the festival, we showcased all the artworks physically and also virtually. So this gave us the chance to showcase different things that we might have normally uh, would have been able to. And But before I talk too much about it, I think it's much better just to have a look at what's waiting for us. Let's have a look at our program trailer. Absolutely breathtaking. I've got goosebumps, even if you can't really see it right now. <laughs> I can't wait to experience all the art pieces, but there's something else I'm pretty sure that the artists can't wait for, and that is this year's Rami. Ulrich, can you tell us a bit more? What exactly is the Rami Award? Yes, the Vrami is our annual award um, that we give out to one special project out of our artistic program. It is awarded by a prestigious jury every year and is endowed with 5,000 euros. And it is sponsored by our partner, the Zeit Foundation. Um, the director of the Buterius Lab of the Zeit Foundation can't be with us tonight, unfortunately, but he has sent a few words of uh, welcome and I'm going to share them with you now. Hello, Ulrich. Hello to the team, hello to the audience, and especially hello to all the artists out there of this year's RAM Festival 2021. My name is Daniel Opper and I represent the Zeitstiftung, one of the sponsoring institutions of this festival. And we are so happy that the festival can take place at least in a hybrid form between Oberhafen and the virtual world in this year in these extraordinary times. 
And we are so interested in this new form, on this new kind of art, on the intersection of technology and art that makes it so wonderful, so new. And these aspects will all come together in this year's winner's work, which will be awarded with this Grammy Award that is sponsored by the Zeitstiftung. And that will be uncovered in a few moments by this year's wonderful jury. And therefore, I will now hand over to this year's jury to present to you the winner of this year's Grammy Award. Thank you very much and have a great evening. So much, Daniel. Um, thank you, of course, to the Zeitstiftung for your incredible support. I believe some of you weren't able to hear the sound. Maybe you can later look in the stream and we can upload it and then you can hear his words. But now I would like to introduce our jury, which we are very happy that they were our jury of this year. First up, the award-winning filmmaker and visual artist from Canada, Caroline Monet. She is joined by Manuel Rosner, curator and artist from Berlin. And to finalize our round of jury, we have the director of the BFI London Film Festival that under her direction expanded its program to immersive art, Trisha Tuttle. Dear jury, I would like you to announce the winner of the Vrami 2021, please. Gratulation vom äh, VRHM Festival an zwei außergewöhnliche Arbeiten und besonders an den Gewinner des diesjährigen Grammy Awards. Hello everyone, we were very lucky to see many uh, beautiful uh, works. The jury had a really difficult decision to make, uh, but we came to consensus and um, we would like to uh, congratulate everyone. The jury responded strongly to a new form of investigative journalism in a work which shines light on an urgent human crisis, a political situation too little known. The man's powerful testimony provides a canva for the composition of the monochrome environment created with beautiful hand-drawn animation, world appear as the story unfolds with the audience at its center. The jury were unanimous in awarding Rami to re-educated. Congratulations. The jury also gave a special mention to The Hangman at Home, praising its incredibly touching, poignant storytelling. The artist's use of immersive techniques implored the audience to become fully immersed and investigate the environment to unlock its secrets. We love the use of perspective, from the spectator's changing position to the protagonist's direct gaze at the viewer. Congratulations to both projects. Yes, congratulations, we educated. And uh, Sam Wilson is here with us tonight. Congratulations to you and your team. Please do come on stage and say a few words. I'd like to invite you to come here between us. Yes, maybe you come up here. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Congratulations again to um, the team for Reeducated. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is this is uh, an incredible honor um, for everybody involved. For uh, and on, on behalf of uh, our team, the New Yorker, the Pulitzer Center, ONA, iBeam, uh, Dirt Empire, our entire team of artists, journalists, uh, animators, the team in Kazakhstan, and most importantly, the incredible people who uh trusted us to share their stories and bring them to the world thank you this is such an incredible honor so thank you for this thank you for this award thank you so much for joining us you will get this award shipped to your home it is a physical award even if we are here virtually so thank you so much for coming <laughs> and for everyone who hasn't thank seen you. this amazing piece of art uh, we're going to showcase the trailer now Sweet, 
2021 for making it such a beautiful and wonderful and unique experience. Thank you to all of you for participating in our opening today. We are very much looking forward to interacting with you in the coming days, in the panels, in the keynotes, in our live performances. And of course, thank you to the creative mind. And with that, I would like to give back to you, Ulrich, for some final remarks and of course for the official opening. Thank you so much, Jenny, for being such a great host for tonight. And before we open the exhibition now, I also want to say a few words of thanks. First of all, I want to thank all these amazing artists. We know how challenging these times are for each and every one of you at the moment. And thanks for sharing your stories with us and thanks for allowing us to share your stories with our audiences. Secondly, I want to thank our partners, of course. Without our partners, we wouldn't be able to have this festival. Simple as that. And so we're very, very grateful, especially since this festival changes every year. You saw it in the trailer. It's never the same. And still our partners are at our side. So this is really, really incredible. So thanks to Deutsche Telekom, Agenda VR, but also City of Hamburg, all our collaborators and partners. And uh, special thanks to uh, In VR Space, who have designed this amazing venue with us. And we're very grateful to be here tonight. But now there's another big thanks that I have to say, that I want to say, and this is to my team. So I'm more than happy to work with this crazy bunch of people uh, who work day and night to deliver this festival. And uh, normally we would show a beautiful picture of us sitting in the sun somewhere looking absolutely gorgeous. This is the only thing that I could dig out and actually showcases how we've been working the whole last year remotely. So thank you all. I can't name everyone, but thanks to our guides, to Inshore, of course, to Jakob for VR equipment, uh, to Martina, to, to Lars, our technical director, Anja from Set Design, for, to Simone for fundraising, also to Lucas, our producer, to Helen and Lara and Christine from Communications, and last but not least, our festival dramaturg, Sabrina. So normally we would now say a big round of applause. It's quite difficult in virtual reality, so instead, I send you this. So have a lovely night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Get a drink at the bar, talk to your neighbors, and most importantly, look at all the artworks, get immersed in the art, and keep your eyes open. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.